Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Robin. And welcome to this month's Zion's Kids Zone. Well, Lisa, September's here, and that means fall's on the way. That reminds me of all the colors, the falling leaves, and the cooler weather. I know, I love fall. I like going to the pumpkin patch and picking out my very own pumpkin. And our family usually goes to the apple orchard and picks out our own apples off the trees. That reminds me, let's talk about the parable of the apple tree. Okay. You know, I love it when Jesus told parables. They were heavenly stories with an earthly meaning. And they were easy to understand. That's why Jesus told them. He wanted the people to understand God's message that he was sharing. Okay, on with the story. Once upon a time, there was an apple tree that God created. It was a young tree, and it didn't have any leaves or any fruit. And one night, the young tree looked up at the night sky and saw all the bright stars. But they made him very unhappy. He wished he, too, had sparkling stars on his branches so that he could be beautiful. Well, the next morning, God noticed that the tree was unhappy, and he said to the tree, Let me make something for you. I will dress you in a beautiful mantle of green so that you will be a most beautiful thing. Then you won't be so unhappy. No, said the tree. I don't want a mantle of green. I want stars. So the next morning, when the tree saw that God had given him a mantle of green instead of stars, he frowned. Once again, the tree said to God, I want stars. But instead, God gave him beautiful red fruit. Now the tree was even more unhappy. The wind saw that the tree was unhappy, and he became unhappy too. Well, the wind was the tree's friend, and he tried to help. He blew and blew and tried to set the apple tree free of all the leaves and the fruit, but he couldn't do it. Finally, one of the apples fell to the ground and broke in half. When the tree saw, looked down, he was surprised by what he saw. Well, let's pretend that this apple is the one that hit the ground. So I'm going to slice it in half and let's see what we find. Watch your fingers. Ta da! Hmm, do you see what we see? Can you see it? Sometimes you have to look carefully for special things. Can you see it? There inside that apple is a beautiful star. God had given him a star after all, and he had just tucked it inside that it was safe from harm. Now the tree was happy. Let's see if we could do that again. Okay. You mean hold it? Oh, that one's better. Look at that. There it is. That's a much nicer star. Oh, and here's the other part. That shows up a lot better, doesn't yeah. it? Sometimes gifts are really hidden. <laughs> You know, Lisa, many times you and I are just like that tree. What do you mean? Well, we may want a special gift like one that God gives to somebody else. And we may even try to tell God what the best gift is for us. That's right. But you know what well, God knows what's best for us. He knows what special gifts each of us can use. Romans 12, 6 says, we all have different gifts according to the grace given to us. That means we should rejoice in the gifts God gives us and what he's chosen for us and use them to do his work. And when that happens, we can all shine like the stars in heaven. You're right. Can we say a prayer together? Dear God, help us to be happy with the gifts you have given each of us and to use those gifts to do your work and be a blessing to others. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Happy fall. See you next month. Bye. Bye.